Hey guys, Pai here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be fun comparison video between all of these four different brands floor mats. So all of these floor mats has a little bit different price point and a little bit different design to them. So first, I will show you the overall design and a closer look of each floor mat. By the way, these made from a environment friendly and fully recyclable um, TPE material. And then I'll try to test fit in my Tesla Model Y. By the way, this is 2023 Tesla Model Y long range, which I took delivery of the car about four months ago. And we'll see the fitment of each floor mat. And then finally, it's gonna be a fun part, which I will do a durability test on each of the format. I'll put them through mud, dirt, water, you name it. And then at the end of this video, we'll see which of the floor mat brands will fit your lifestyle the most and which will be best for your Tesla Model Y. Now let's go. As many of you may know, I'm a dad, a full-time toy designer, and a content creator. Juggling it all can be really tough. It doesn't leave me much time to do research on anything else. I always try to find a better way to invest. So the next time you have 30 minutes or so, check out today's sponsor, Masterworks. Masterworks team of art, nerds, and financial analysis have created one of a kind database that takes all the legwork out of investment research because they are not offering you the usual stock, cryptocurrency, or real estate tips. They are giving you access to some of the most lucrative, luxury collectible on the market, contemporary art, which has outpaced the S&P 500 since 1995. Let's say you got a hot stock tip from your friend in the last few years. Chances are they fell through the last year. But for Masterwork, it was a different story. They paid out over 25 million in total net returns to their investors, adding to already an impressive track record. So it's no surprise that over 700,000 people have signed up so far, or why offerings have sold out in hours. With the world already prepping for recession, demand is growing by the day. But my subscribers can get VIP access and skip the waitlist just by clicking the link in the description down below. Thank you so much Masterworks for sponsoring this video. Now let's continue with the video. All right, before we start with the overall design of the floor mats, let me show you the brand and the price of each floor mats here. I like to be educated. But I'm so frustrated. Hello. Now let's take a closer look at each floor mat design. First, let's start it from the floor mats from Osido. These has um, the most complex design compared to the rest of them, and it has the highest grooves on the floor mats here. And this is probably has the least texture on the floor mats, so it would. Um, definitely provide less grip compared to the rest of them. Overall design will show you how they fit in my Model Y later. All right, now let's go to a last fit um, floor mats. Okay, let's check out the floor mats from last fit. I actually really like the design on these. Um, it has groove but not too um, deep into the floor mat. Um, the reason I'm mentioning about the grooves here because the deeper it is, the harder to clean when rocks and um, dirt gets inside between the grooves. That's why I mentioned it. And yeah, the overall design looks really, really cute actually. I really liked it. Seems like it's gonna fit really well in the car. They should look really good in the car too. This is the rear um, second row seat of the floor mat. All right, now next. Check out the design of floor mat from Test Plus. So these are the floor mat from Test Plus. Um, I really like the design. It's cleaner than those two, and the design is really similar to what you see on the Tesla OEM floor mats. You can see here. This is the driver, passenger. 
and the grooves are seems like really really easy to clean actually um, last week it's a little a little deeper than the one um, from taste plus now let's go check out the last one which is the from now the current format that i'm using right now which is from two rows so these are the format from two rows which i'm currently using these are the simplest design compared to the rest of the formats here the cleanest design um, it fits really well in my car uh, or you'll see in the video so i've been using it for four months um, excuse all the mats here because i didn't have chance to clean it before the video it's been awesome um, format so far so we have seen all of the four um, floor mats design um, in my opinion as for the design um, overall design wise i think last fit offer the best design i think they did the design just right not too complex like the one on Osido and the grooves is not too deep i hope the grooves um, it's about that deep as um, the one from test plus so for the design perspective i like last week's the most and then test plus and then this one from two rows that's probably the last i would choose as for the design wise right now I will compare um, closer look and then side by side on the material quality and the material texture of each floor mats here. All right, first let's start with the floor mats from two rows um, because this is really different from the rest of the floor mats here. This one has the lightest uh, material here. It's almost like a foam cushion in between the top part and the bottom part. So I believe this one offered the best grip compared to the rest of it. As you can see here, the texture on the floor mat, I know it doesn't have a lot of design on the floor mat, but it has a really good texture for the grip um, when you put your shoes on. Let's say you, you know, uh, leave the car rainy day, coming back in, you won't be, uh, it won't be slippery on the floor mat at all. And it also has another kind of texture underneath it so it sticks to the carpet underneath really well so it doesn't move around when you place your floor mat in the car and then next one is the floor mat from test plus as you can see here the texture comparison between these two this one has a bigger texture this one has smaller texture it's both seems really um, easy to clean compared with those two because of the less design and grooves on the format that helps cleaning a lot. We will test it later in the video and we will see the result. This one is a little bit heavier and harder material. It doesn't have that, um, as you can see here, foam cushions in between. So it's, it's harder. This is probably the, probably the hardest material here compared to all of them. This is definitely the softest, lightest. This one, yeah, this one's it's probably the heaviest here too. And next is the floor mats from Osido, as you can see here. So the material of the Osido and the last fit seems similar, but not that similar as, as it seems. This one looks like a soft floor mat, right? But the material is almost as hard as this one, it's just thinner material. This one has a thicker material, as you can see here the thickness and it offers like I mentioned earlier the less um, texture which means the least grip in all of these floor mats here and it seems like it's the hardest to clean because of this complex design the deeper grooves on the floor mat and then last of course the last fit floor mat so this one has a good amount of texture so it offers um, a good amount of grips, but not as much as the one from Tuos, of course. A little bit better than this one, a little bit bigger um, texture. I'm pretty sure it offers similar grips between Test Plus and Last Fit. But Last Fit, it's not that heavy. It's quite light, actually. It's probably um, second lightest from the one from Tuos and the material is softer. Also, they have this 
this pattern right here in the back so it offers the space in between the bottom of the floor mat and the top so it offers a little bit of cushion when you put your feet on top of it this one a little bit too but it's uneven compared to this this one is a little bit more even you can see here light so as for the materials um, the most comfortable I would go with two rows and then last fit and then test plus that's probably the least comfortable one now we saw the overall design and then material comparisons let's try to fit all of these um, floor mats in my Tesla Model Y and see which one has the best fitment in my Model Y right before I test fit all of these floor mats um, in my Tesla Model Y I want to let you know all of these were provided by each of the brands um, for free to me but none of the brands um, will pay to make this video so they are equally um, compared and I will try to be a, um, as honest and non-biased as possible um, hopefully this will help you you know to choose which one is the right format for your car now let's test it with um, last fit first let's go Alright, I'm done installing it. Let's go check it out. So this is from Last Fit. Again, this is a passenger side floor mat. See the fitment of the floor mat. It fits really, really good. As you can see here, every angle has a little pop here. Um, I assume this might cause by um, floor mat uh, because these. This is brand new actually. I just opened up from the box and then test it right away. So that's what's folding in the box. So that's what it costs, might cost this. Or um, I have this of uh, the seat protector here. So that adds a little thickness to it. So that might cost that too. All right, let's go check out the driver's side. Here's the overall look and the fitment. no bubble up at all on this side as you can see it fits really really well nicely fit in my Tesla Model Y this is 2023 Model Y looks good so far so good wow I really like the look of this one so far check out the rear passenger um, same here It covers all the edges of the floor. Like the one on the passenger side, it's bubble up a tiny bit here. Um, again, this one was folded in the box. I just opened it up. Overall, looks really good. All right, next, let's test the next one from Test Plus right here. <laughs> Check out floor mat from Test Plus. This the driver's side fits really, really good. I just snuck right in. Wow. I think this one actually fits a little bit better than the one from Last Fits. Actually, it has no um, pop on the bubble or popped out from the side at all. This is the driver's side. Let's go check out. Um, the driver, um, the passenger side. So here's the passenger side. Again, same here. It fits like a gloves. You see, um, it was a, a little pop here from the one from Last Fit, but nothing here on the one from Test Plus. Really nice. Let's check out the rear passenger. Same story here. well fitted remember the uh, pops a little from the last fit but this one nothing looks really good too actually I really like it all right this looks great now let's test the ones from two rows right here 
Check out Flymat from Turo. So this is the current one that I'm using right now. It's really similar fitment to the one from Test Plus for the front passenger, um, for the front driver's side here. Um, I believe a Test Plus gets up a little higher on the cover, the covering up right here, but otherwise it fits really, really well, as you can see. Looks good so far. Oh, I love that performance paddles. That looks, that thing is awesome. All right, let's go to the passenger side. Here's the passenger side. Same story here. No popping out from the side. See the fitment on the bottom, on this side. This pops a little. And maybe caused by this, um, the door seals protector here. Because it adds a little thickness to it. Because um, remember, these floor mats will measure from the car without any um, protection or any accessories in the car. This one's well. Um, one one thing that I want to mention is this doesn't stay like completely flat, as you can see there. This part of the floor mat popped out a little bit, just like that, all the time. Um, the whole four months that I had it on my car. So that's that's only um, I think this advantage on this uh, two rows format. Let's go check out the passenger side or the pass the rear passenger. Yeah. It fits really good on the side, on the back, over there too. And on the inside here same story it pops a little little bit because I put this the base seat protection here it used to be a carpet material inside so it's easier to clean um, but otherwise looks really good let's check out the last one fly mat from Alcido alright last but not least Flat mat from Alcido right here. Alright, check out the fitment on this one. So this one covered the least on the top part as you can see. Because every other flat mat cover into at least right here. This one cover into here. And this is the driver's side. So you can see there's even like a big gap here. So it doesn't cover perfectly, right? Maybe yeah, this side too, as you can see, it's like half an inch gap right here. Um, it pops like this because I just came out from the box, so this one has a gap too. All right, let's go check out the passengers. And here's the passenger side. The top part actually fits a little bit better. Have a good coverage on the top. And then the side here is great. Here is great. That side looks good, no popping out until until you go down here. Same story here. You have like half an inch, almost an inch space here between the leg of the chair and the end of the floor mat. The same story here. So I'm not sure how they measure it. It doesn't fit perfectly to the shape of the size of the front and, and the, re, um, the front to front passenger and the driver as you can see go check out the rear passenger all right the rear passenger actually fits much better than the front as you can see it covers all the way there there uh, this pops a little it's probably that's um, also the fitment issue because remember the f um, last fit pops on one side but not on this side this one pops out on both sides I'll show you uh, pops a little bit here too not as much as the other side otherwise the side is good this one's good this one right here good yeah the rear seat 
fit uh, much better than the front, actually. All right, so we tested all of the floor mats um, for the fitments in my 2023 Model Y. Um, in my opinion, the only one with no issue at all is the ones from Test Plus right here with no popping out bubble, any fitment issue, zero, front and back. Um, the second least um, issue is it's this tools and last fit probably equally. Um, last fit has a little pops and then tools popped out a little and then a little bit of the fitment in the rear passenger I believe. And then yeah, and the least the one that fits doesn't fit properly it's the one from Osito that you can see here got some little um, fitment issue in the in the front mostly in the front in the back fits pretty good right now we see all the fitments design and in the material next we are going to do a durability test on all of this floor mat but I can't do it alone I need my little helper to do it tomorrow we'll see you tomorrow then all right here's the next day I have a little helper here so she's gonna help me with making a little mess on the floor mats here so you know it's basically simulate the real life if you have a kids at home so basically your kids will make a mess in your car so first we are going to test with a small um, dirt on the floor mats first and then I'll try to vacuum it and I'll see which one leave the less um, mass or less dirt after vacuuming it. Let's go. Okay, go ahead and spell. Now you can um, take all the dirt from your boots and try to jump on these floor mats. Go ahead. Now let's have a look the amount of dirt on this floor mat right here so that's the first one and here and there all right now we are going to test it with the vacuum cleaner <laughs> right so we try to put amount of time of vacuuming on each one similarly so we get the the right result so the first one we clean it's this one from two rows as you can see this one have no grooves at all so the result came out really really good it's almost um, nothing left only small little things here and there okay next one is from last fit still a little bit in the grooves but still the grooves not as deep as the other one we'll see the other one too so a little bit more than this of course and as you can see it's more dirt here here and then this is one from test plus well almost actually test plus I'm surprised because it has grooves right here almost the same result as the one from two rows actually show you a bit closer yeah, not much left. Only small little dirt here and there left. Um, so this will be the second one after after this two rows one, and then last fit. Let's check out the one from Osito. Wow, this one have a um, whole bunch of dirt left, as you can see here because of um, these grooves, and they all going in different directions so that actually make it harder to clean and the grooves are much deeper than the rest of the floor mats here see a lot of dirt left on the inside even the big pieces right there all right so um, so we're done with the first one with a small pieces of dirt um, let's try a big piles of dirt on each of them and then this time I'm not gonna uh, vacuum it this time I'll try to just knock them out and then see um, if there's any left 
on the floor mat after you know um, knocking them out twice so a lot more this sound than just dirt from her shoes or her boots Alright, as you can see here, a lot more dirt this time on each of the floor mat. Now, I try to uh, basically just knock them out or try to pour them out and see how much dirt left on each one. Uh. Right, you're gonna start from the first one. Okay, let's take a closer look. Um, so the first one is nothing left, but you know um, the the coloring off from the dirt still here. Um, this area, as you can see, this one too, not much. A little bit of the dirt, the small dirt. This one have to not much left at all. Not even like a color from the dirt. The dirtiness. This one is looks the cleanest one. Um, this one has tiny bit of like a powder dirt left so this one did actually the best um, performance in this round or an, and next this one equally that's what we last all right so next we are going to try it with liquid so this case is a coffee so I'm simulating the coffee let's say you you know spill the coffee in the car and how hard it is to clean and what's gonna happen to these floor mats all right let's pour it in so this is the result after we pour in the hot coffee standing in so as you can see this one might be harder to clean but let's say you spill in your car your feet are on the floor mat the liquid it's on it's inside the grooves as you can see so it doesn't really touch um, your shoes so I think that's somewhat part of the benefit of it compared to this see your shoes is basically put you know standing stepping back in the liquid just step back in the liquid step in the liquid there <laughs> So you're basically sitting on the puddle of um, your coffee. Let's check out this one real quick, go. So this one, a little bit of liquid on the top surface because the grooves has, uh, it's not as deep as this one. Go ahead, this one too. Oh, liquid kinda. So this one has, the grooves not really deep. So you still can, you still basically um, standing in the puddle of coffee all right now let's try to um, clean them real quick and see which one is easiest to clean with the towel so we're gonna use the towel to clean the first one first this, this isn't from two hours as you can see it's super easy to clean no grooves at all um, with a small texture on it so just a couple wipes then it's done now um, last bit as you can see a little bit harder to clean because you have to go through those grooves to get the liquid out okay this one we have to do um, a few more times and not even quite clean as that one yet okay the next one go ahead so this one same it has the grooves similar to that but not as deep it's a little bit easier to clean than that so after a few wipes um, less times than, than this one but it still have some of the coffee left so this is the last one right here let's try to wipe it off this is a, little, a lot more trickier <laughs> to clean for sure not only dirt also liquid or coffee in this case see it takes so much longer time to clean so I'm simulating this in case you try to clean while it's in your car not like you already back home you can just you know splash the water and clean as you can see a lot coffee still left in here this one 
do a little bit to this one too and that one's pretty much wiped clean so cleaning the liquid definitely the one from Turos this is the best and easiest to clean so far and second this one almost equal as you can see still have um, some of the coffee left maybe a little better easier to clean on this one because of the grooves going the same direction um, not this one it's like this way and up and down this one probably the worst because the groove is so much deeper than the rest of the floor mats and it's just going in different directions here all right we splash off the coffee as you can see now the last test we're gonna do it's we're gonna mix some dirt and water. We'll make some muddy puddle right here for her to make the mud and it's just gonna jump in here and make a little more mess okay. to these floor mats. Go ahead Isabel, do your thing. left big mess on each floor mat let's go closer to each one so this is the one from two rows it's a whole bunch of mud same this one here so it goes some some of them going to the grooves this one just um, because of the, the surface tilting that way so water is going that direction this is the last one here so same here um, because of big grooves, big space, so some of the mud actually sitting underneath. So when you have your feet on, um, let's say you're coming back from the outside, getting in the car, mud everywhere. So some of the mud it sits inside the grooves. So this is probably one of the benefit of the one with a lot of grooves and deep grooves like this. So the mud didn't you know come out, come up, and dirty your shoes again. I guess. So if you ask, um, so what scenario are you going to get into getting this mud in your car? I actually um, experienced the same thing. The second week of taking the off the car, we went somewhere in you know that the parking, it's all dirt and was raining hard. So by the time we come back in the car, mud um, from the, the dirt outside got in the car everywhere. We have to come back and splash. Um, all the floor mat and then clean it out. So same as this time, we are going to um, splash it with water a couple times um, equally, try to do it equally on each one and see which one is the hardest or easiest to clean. I will basically just splash the water this direction um, three times. So try to do three times equally. So one, two, three, all right all right i'm done um splashing the water try to clean off this format let's go to well let's see all offers and i'll go closer look of each one all right well, let's start with two rows as you can see still um, mud or dirt left this part of the floor mat after I spray and then try to knock out the water it's a little bit here too so this is the second one from last fit this one leave less dirt in this area a little bit small pieces still here and more Oh, almost the same actually on this top part because I try to knock the water or try to pour the water out from that part so leave same amount of mud leftover mud from um, similar to this one right here and this is the one from test plus actually all clean on this whole bottom area unlike these two as you can see it's no more dirt or mud at all but still some this area I'm not sure you can see it there 
um, but less than this and that one let's go to the next one so the next one some dirt right here right there I'm surprised that dirt from the grooves on the inside kind of came out but in this area because of as you can see here so this groove design change from here to here it's different direction different design so I think that's why that's what caused all the dirt stuck in this area even in though even though I tried to pour the water out this way so it's kind of stuck here a lot more than all the three yeah so these are the results from all the tests that I did today with all of the floor mat um, so with the mud I think the test plus is definitely a winner and then these two are really similar result maybe last fit a little bit better on the bottom part than tools and this one leave a lot of mud right there on that top part but I think the cleaning part remember we started with um, vacuuming so the vacuuming part this is the winner and that's second place third and fourth so a vacuuming the more grooves or deeper grooves you have on the floor mat it's harder to clean and the water or liquid or coffee in this case is definitely um, this one because no grooves at all so it's much easier um, to wipe it off we just did what two three wipes and then just totally clean this one not much so this one probably the second place this one third and that one's forward but that one um, a little bit benefit because of deep grooves so all the coffee sits inside underneath so your feet doesn't touch that coffee um, anymore when you you know you put try to put put your feet back on so yeah these are the results it was fun and have to thanks uh, my daughter helping me with this test so the comparisons and tests are done let me know in the comments down below which one are your favorite floor mats out of all of these four brands um, as for me I like a little bit of design and not that hard to clean so I would definitely go for either last fit or test plus um, as for my wife she would definitely go for the easiest one to clean which is tools floor mat right here thank you so much guys for watching today's video I'll make sure to put the link of all of these floor mats in the description down below also a special discount code for you and don't forget to click like if you like the video don't forget to subscribe for more awesome contents like this and don't forget to check out the merch just right below this video we'll see you on the next video peace